Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Wednesday, September 25th. You'll be interested to know, 247 years ago, today in 1777, Philadelphia, then the American capital, was occupied by British forces during the American Revolution. This strategic occupation, which lasted nearly nine months, aimed to disrupt the Continental Congress and weaken the American fight for independence. No such luck, Sir William. Have yourself another crumpet and bugger off. So now you know. And now, it's time for the surf report. Expect neat at thigh high swell on Wednesday morning with semi-choppy conditions due to offshore winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming choppy in the afternoon with onshore winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Thursday morning will see thigh to waist high swell and semi-glassy conditions, while Friday and Saturday will offer waist high swell with semi-glassy mornings transitioning to semi-choppy afternoons. Wednesday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking fair this morning until 10 a.m. at two feet. After that, it's looking pretty choppy. But it might turn fair again for a sunset session. Best time to ride is at 6 a.m. with the three and a half foot high tide when the northwest swell is one feet at 16 seconds and the onshore wind is six mile per hour. The first high tide Wednesday will be three and a half foot at 7 a.m. with a three and a half foot low tide at 1030. This morning it's cloudy and feels like 65 degrees with eight mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 640 and it will rise again tomorrow at 639. It looks like we're in for some partly sunny skies today with a high near 75 and a light northwest breeze. Tonight, expect mostly cloudy conditions with a low of 63 and continued gentle winds. Looking ahead in the weather, expect mostly sunny skies with highs around 74 degrees from Thursday through Sunday with light northwest winds. Nights will be mostly cloudy with lows in the low 60s creating a pleasant and comfortable weekend ahead. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, Governor Gavin Newsom recently signed the assembly bill known as the Phone Free School Act. This legislation mandates that every school district Charter School and County Office of Education implement a policy limiting or prohibiting cell phone usage by July 1st, 2026. Newsom stated, this new law will help students focus on academics, social development, and the world in front of them, not their screens. San Diego Unified School Board President Shauna Hazen noted that their existing policy already restricts cell phone use during school hours, reflecting years of attention to student wellness and learning. Now on to sports. Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre has revealed that he has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. This places him among the one million people living with a condition in the United States. According to John Lair, the chief executive officer of the Parkinson's Foundation, an estimated 90,000 people will receive this diagnosis this year alone. Parkinson's is a progressive nervous system disorder affecting movement. Lair noted that a combination of genetic and environmental factors, 
such as head injuries and pesticide exposure, may contribute to the disease. Notable figures like actor Michael J. Fox and boxer Muhammad Ali have also faced this challenge. In local sports, Yesterday, the Padres clinched a playoff spot with a 4-2 victory over the Dodgers in L.A. Manny Machado's two-run shot in the fourth inning, combined with Jake Cronenworth's RBI double, powered the Friars' offense. Joe King pitched six solid innings, allowing just one run and striking out six. Robert Suarez earned his 35th save of the season with a nail-biting ninth inning. Despite the efforts of Mookie Betts and Enrique Hernandez, the Dodgers couldn't overcome the Padres' resilient pitching and timely hitting. Tonight, the Friars face the Dodgers again in Los Angeles at 7-10. Dylan Cease, with a 3.42 ERA, will take the mound against Jack Flaherty. The Padres, currently with a record of 91-66, lead the series 1-0. In top news, scientists have unveiled a third state of life where dead cells take on new functions after the organism dies. This phenomenon, explored in a recent research review by biologists, highlights ongoing studies into xenobots and anthrobots. These innovative cells could potentially deliver drugs without provoking an immune response and assist in addressing conditions like atherosclerosis and cystic fibrosis. The concept of the third state reveals a fascinating and somewhat eerie aspect of biology as it shows that even in death, cells can adopt new roles, opening doors to exciting possibilities in medical science. In business news, on September 25th, 2024, Thailand's government launched the first phase of its ambitious $14 billion digital wallet stimulus scheme aiming to invigorate the economy. This initiative will eventually provide 10,000 baht each to approximately 45 million people. Initially, cash will be distributed to 14.5 million welfare card holders and disabled individuals, expected to conclude by the end of the month. Prime Minister Peyton Tarn Shinawatra emphasized, cash will be put into the hands of Thais and create a tornado of spending. However, the scheme faces criticism from economists for being fiscally irresponsible. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just over $64,200. Ethereum is just over $2,600. And Solana is $152. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. The famed poet's grave, lost for over 450 years, has been discovered at Notre Dame Cathedral, according to scientists. This revelation emerged during a significant restoration project following the cathedral's devastating fire in April 2019. While archaeologists successfully identified one body from an epitaph, the second body remained a mystery. Now, researchers believe the remains belong to the French Renaissance poet, Joachim du Bellay, as reported by France's National Institute of Preventive Archaeological Research. The archaeological efforts, which commenced after the fire, continue as officials anticipate reopening the cathedral in December. And in entertainment news. On Tuesday, renowned filmmaker James Cameron, known for his work on Terminator and Avatar, 
joined the board of Stability AI, the company behind the controversial image generator, Stable Diffusion. This innovative technology, launched in 2022, creates images from text descriptions, but has faced criticism. Cameron stated, I have spent my career seeking out emerging technologies that push the very boundaries of what is possible, all in the service of telling incredible stories. He emphasized that generative artificial intelligence and computer-generated imagery are the next wave in storytelling, reflecting ongoing concerns about the impact of artificial intelligence on society. Well, all righty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the American actor, director, and producer, Clint Eastwood. And he said, Respect your efforts. Respect yourself. Self-respect leads to self-discipline. When you have both firmly under your belt, that's real power. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.